grab it and sit down and sit down and sit down grab a carpet and sit down for story time <gasps> good morning boys and girls i am so excited to see you this morning let me see your beautiful eyes oh i want to see your beautiful eyes where are they there they are right there i have a special pretend carpet that i'm sitting on this morning what are you sitting on <gasps> Maybe you're standing, maybe you're wiggling, but I just wanna make sure you have a special place for story time today. I miss you so much and I'm so excited to share our story with you this morning. As you can see, I'm in one of my kids' rooms. He's got a lot of Legos over there. You see all those Legos? He spent a lot of time on those. But this is his room and he let me use it to share our story this morning. Now, today is a very special day. It is Palm Sunday, and some of you may have made a beautiful palm for Miss Autumn or Miss Angie's project. Maybe your grown-up took a video of you making a palm leaf. If you didn't do it, that's okay. You can do one this morning, but we're gonna use this this morning in our lesson too. Now, <clears throat> today is the story of Palm Sunday, when Jesus rode into Jerusalem, getting ready for Easter. And to introduce our story this morning, we have some special guests. They are called the Sock Puppet Guests. They are the only socks that were at King Supers and whatever materials we had in our house. And my boys are going to show you now a little sock puppet story of Palm Sunday. And after their story, then we'll finish up together. All right? Enjoy! My name is Donkey. My name is Jesus. Hello, I'm a townsperson. Hello, I'm a friend of Jesus and I love food. Yum, yummy. Hello, I'm a disciple. Hello, I'm a disciple. It was a hot day. Jesus and his disciples were riding on me to Jerusalem, and the people were so happy to see Jesus. Hosanna, Hosanna, oh to God! Jesus and I were going to my house to have supper with his friends. Now that we are all settled in, let supper begin. Jesus, dear God, thank you for this beautiful world. Amen. After dinner, Jesus did something unexpected by everyone. Now may I have your feet? Yes. So Jesus washes everyone's feet. May I have your feet? Yes. May I have your feet? Yes. These are sparkly and shiny like they couldn't ever been. Thank you, Jesus. As I love you, you should love others. God sent me to love others. The end. I hope you enjoyed their sock puppet story of Palm Sunday. Now, remember, our story comes from the, everybody say it, Bible, the Bible. And I know you have a Bible too, or your grown up does, or somebody you know does. So our story today comes from the Bible, and it begins with Jesus, and he is walking into Jerusalem on a donkey. You see my donkey? He walks to Jerusalem on a donkey. And you know, the road to Jerusalem was kind of dirty and kind of dusty, and everybody was so excited to see Jesus that they waved palm branches in the air and said, Hosanna, Hosanna, and praise be to God. And then they laid the palm branches down on that dusty, dirty road for Jesus to ride into Jerusalem. So it was kind of clean for him a little bit. They were so excited to see Jesus. After Jesus got to Jerusalem, he went and had dinner with his friends. And here's a little cup. See my cup? They had some dinner and they drank some 
drink some water because they were probably thirsty. And after the meal, do you know what Jesus did? He took off his robe because he's wearing a robe and he got a towel and he tied it around him and then he got a bowl and he filled it with water. And do you know what he did? He washed his friend's feet. Now remember, our road where the people laid the palm branches down was dusty and dirty. And people in Jesus' day wore sandals. So do you think maybe, and maybe walk through some animal poo, do you think maybe their feet were dirty? Yeah, probably kind of like your feet in the summer, maybe a little black. But Jesus bent down and he began to wash his friend's feet. And that job is not a pretty job, and it's kind of a nasty job. You're going, oh, nasty job. But one by one, he washed their feet. And do you know why? He loved his friends so much that he did a gross job by washing their feet because it was a way he could show them that he loved them. Jesus told the men that they should show love to others too, just like he showed it to them. So our message this morning is that people love Jesus so much, they shouted, Hosanna! And he loved them too, and he showed them by washing their feet. And Jesus said to love others also. So what I want you to do now is say with me, people love Jesus and he loved them. Ready? People love Jesus and he loved them. All right, get your hands up in the air. Say it with me, ready? People love Jesus and he loved them. Now get really, really, really little and say it in your quiet voice, ready? People love Jesus and he loved them. <gasps> let's see, let's put our hands on our head and let's say it together like that, ready? People love Jesus and he loved them. Do you know what this is? This is your underwater finger. Get it ready. Let's say it together. Ready? <gasps> people love Jesus and people love them. Okay, turn to your grown up, wherever your grown up is, and say, People love Jesus and he loved them. And then, do you know what I want you to do? I want you to take one hand and I want you to take the other. I want you to put it around yourself because guess what? Jesus. Do you know how we know that? Oh, I have a visitor of my dog. Do you know how we know that Jesus loves us? Because it's in the Bible. Ready, stand up. And we're going to sing. And before we sing, turn to your grown-up and say, grown-up, do not share this on social media. Miss Jen will be embarrassed. Did you tell your grown-up? All right, here we go. Ready? The B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E Bible. One more time. Ready, set, the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E Bible. What should we do next? Oh, I know. Let's do head, shoulders, knees, and toes, but remember, don't let me trick you at the end. We're going to say Jesus loves me, and it shows. Don't let me trick you. Ready? <gasps> Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. I love Jesus, and it shows, and it shows. Did I trick you? I hope not. All right, boys and girls, put your hands up. Put your hands together. Bow your heads and pray with me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that you went to Jerusalem that day and made yourself low and washed people's feet because you love them so much. God, you did so many things to show others you love them because you, you are amazing. Help us to love others in the same way. Help us to love our grown-ups and our siblings and all those who we're alone with right now, God, help us to love them just like you love us. And all God's children said, Amen. Put your hands out. Put one hand here, one hand here. 
give yourself a big hug from me. I miss you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.